Hello, everybody. I'm Geo Environmental Atmosphere Forecaster Andrew Fleck. It's very late here now, Thursday night, on into now our early Friday. And we're going to take a look at current weather radar. We do see that there are a few storms uh, occurring out there in the southern plains. We're a little farther north and even west, uh, some snow and some ice. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Earlier, we did a 4.30, 3.30 update on this uh, very, very unsettled area across the region, and we're just doing another update here uh, through your late Thursday on into our Friday. Uh, we don't see entirely too many changes, and again, this really is nothing significant. Uh, earlier uh, in the day on Thursday, we had another low pressure out here around uh, Missouri, and that has now turned more almost stationary or has almost absorbed uh, further northward into now the Great Lakes. So you see a lot of that rain into uh, northern Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin, even some snow back there. Very light. Uh, not a lot of accumulation, maybe one to three inches, uh, but just something enough to lighten those roads. And lighten conditions up for now our late November on into our December. Now further southward, uh, across eastern Texas through Arkansas, that's where uh, a low pressure that was once uh, a little bit westward across the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma has begun to sink a little bit toward the southeast, and it has met even some more unstable air. As you can see here, uh, there's 77 degrees in Shreesport, Louisiana. We have El Dorado around 69 in uh, Arkansas here. And then on the other side of that front, Norman, uh, Norman, Oklahoma, 32 degrees, Midland, Texas, 38. So you can definitely see this. There's a lot of very tight gradient, temperature gradient here between this front. And that's why we're seeing snow on one side and ice. And we're seeing even some thunderstorms on that southern side where that low pressure exists. That's where we have some very heavy rain occurring through eastern Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana through the early Friday morning. And that will continue off as that front and that low pressure does move eastward and south. Uh, if we go a little further back westward, we talked about this uh, during the Thursday afternoon marker, and we basically said that this low pressure would be the one that would uh, earlier once in Colorado would sink also further southward as a high pressure would push colder air also southward, and that would start to begin to spread more snow and some ice across the Texas Panhandle, western Oklahoma, and New Mexico. Again, Colorado also uh, included in there. And really anywhere around that low pressure, those states surrounding, as what was mentioned, uh, you have the best chance of some very light uh, ice and uh, cross, cross over some of those higher elevations, even some snow. Uh, we don't, again, think this is going to be a very significant um, uh, system, and we don't think there's going to be a very significant amount of snow being dropped. Now, when you're sitting here and you're talking about November, uh, Mexico, New Mexico seeing some snow, and even Texas, that is uh, uh, quite a surprise. But again, the, the more favorable and better uh, concerning issue here is that it isn't as significant, and that's something we'll take. But if we do look at the overall forecast and at the overall setup here, it's very evident that we do have a high pressure further northward, and that's what has been pulling and pushing uh, this entire front here uh, much more south and southeastward. There's a very much a, a large trough uh, under control here, and the influences of low temperatures at or below freezing, that ice and snow also occurring is what we are expecting here. And right now, even about western New Mexico, southwest New Mexico, you're in a little bit of rain. It's still about 55 degrees, but again, throughout Thursday night into Friday, this is going to continue to recede southward, and that front will also push toward, uh, southward, and that will change those temperatures uh, such that in El Dorado, New Mexico, even into then the 40s, 30s, changing from that rain to ice and snow. And that's really that area there in New Mexico, Colorado, Texas Panhandle, western Oklahoma, Kansas. Uh, that is going to be the area to see most of that snow and ice. Uh, we have seen some forecasts being issued of 1 to 3 inches, 3 to 6, uh, um, some totals that are pretty high. And rather, we don't expect that to be very widespread. We expect that to be more, again, in the higher terrain and in those lower valleys, uh, a little more ice and not much uh, accumulation uh, at all. So we're definitely going to keep an eye on this throughout the overnight Thursday on into the Friday time frame here. Uh, to look at a few forecasts of what can be expected uh, across northeast New Mexico, if you click on a forecast here, um, you are expected now on into through the Friday daytime total of 1 p.m. 
uh, 3.2 inches could be expected out there again across northeast New Mexico and uh, then of course the Texas Panhandle you're currently 22 degrees and you could very well see about an inch to a half an inch somewhere around there of some snow and again that's through this overnight into the 1 p.m. time frame Friday. Uh, going up toward Colorado Springs, Colorado, a little more snow here than our other locations. And you are expected through 1 p.m. Friday about 3 inches. You could even get up to 4 or 5 inches depending on the elevations that you locations uh, sit at uh, around and about there. Uh, a little bit west or southwest of that front as we were speaking here, there is some rain currently, but uh, this is expected to change, and uh, for then central and west central New Mexico, even three inches, and again, that's through that Friday 1 p.m. time frame. So this is really what's going on here, a uh, very general, modest, but non-significant snow and ice event for those areas of Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and through New Mexico. Again, a one to three general, some higher accumulations over the highest mountains, and uh, again, that trough is going to continue to push southward. All that cold air will. And what you see here, folks waking up in the central plains, southern plains, northern plains, all throughout that region, when you wake up in the morning Friday, it's going to be cold. And folks who are living in the east, you might get a modest warm day here on Friday, but come Saturday, come Sunday, what you see here in front of you is coming your way, and it might be even chillier than what we're looking at here temperature-wise across the central plains. So that is all I really have here in this video update segment, your storm cast for your 12 midnight and 1 a.m. time frame. And if any changes do occur, you know that GeoEnvironmental Atmosphere will give you the latest alerts and information needed and provided for your early and overnight commute for Friday. So you take care, you enjoy, and you stay safe. For more information, please visit www.geoea.org. Everybody have a great rest of your Thursday night.